Have you ever felt that no matter how hard you try, things just don't go your way? Or no matter how hard you want to keep things as they are, they always change, eventually. But you know what you can change? Your perspective. There's a quote, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. This season is changing so fast. There are only a few days until dandelions change their form. And even then, it won't last long until their seeds spread all over. Change is inevitable. It's what? Ineb inevitable. One more time? Inevitable! Things are inevitably going to change! It is engraved in the fabric of reality. Everything is constantly moving. That's the only constant in the way of things. But the path where your life unfolds depends on you and your perspective. To fully understand this concept, we need to ask ourselves who am I? A sense of I, of beingness, that is deeper than anything that happens in your life. It's always there, has always been there right now. Nothing will get you anywhere if you're looking for yourself in any experience. And that's the fallacy of most people, they look for themselves in changing circumstances. They look for themselves in their thought processes. They identify with their thoughts and opinions and their judgments and this and that. And it changes. The thoughts have changed, but the, the underlying I hasn't changed. So can you go through life being in touch with that? Being in touch with that in the different situations, different circumstances, different places, so that you're not completely lost in the things. Things just happen, supposedly random. But I think they are perfectly coordinated by the divine or various mixes of variables. That always depends on your perspective. One of them is probability. This graph represents the path of bicycles being pushed and steered. One line is one bicycle. This shows us a pattern and gives us an idea of the possibility of predicting the outcome. It can also apply to your life circumstances. You start at one point and depending on your actions, you can take different paths. But how many times have you witnessed situations that seemed impossible to occur? These near-death experiences of people that came out from terrible accidents unharmed, that if it were in a movie, you would think it's unrealistic because these things just don't happen. That if you could count the odds, the only question you could came up is why? Maybe it is all random, or maybe it's destiny, or perhaps luck, or maybe there's simply no other way. You can look at it however you like. Nonetheless, life still unfolds every second on the entire planet simultaneously, whether you think about it or not. So maybe it's not about thinking, maybe it's about feeling. And how do these life changes depend on me? Well, 
For example, if you plant a seed, later on you can harvest the crops. As Mac sings in his song. Okay, but in my life I witnessed a tragedy that I wasn't in control of. So why are you saying that's on me? No, I don't know. Every story, every person is a different piece of the puzzle. You can't just put everything in one box. Ask yourself. But what's done is done. I'd suggest focusing on what is now, because this is where the life is. In fact, now it's the only time. This is when you can meet with yourself and your vibration. I believe that vibration is the true force of events in our life and also the entire universe. It will probably be obvious to most people in a few years, but these days it still needs time to be accepted by the majority. From this perspective, things happen inside out, according to what is in you. But for now, if you wonder, what is this vibration? Just listen. Listen to quietness. Focus on your heart center, where it all starts. Observe the thought patterns arising in your mind. Don't try to understand anything. Just listen, observe and trust. <laughs> 